CYC is a free channel that presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. Welcome back to another episode. Today we have a new story. Today's story is about the broken pot. A long time ago, before there were cars or trucks or things to bring us things, people used to walk long, long paths to give us water or things that we need. So in a place in India, there was this man who worked for a big master in a huge, huge castle. And what he needed to do, his job, was to carry water from a river down the hill and bring it up to the master. So this poor old man, as his job, went down to the river and he had two pots, one on each shoulder. One pot was great. The other pot had a little bit of a broken side to it. So what would happen when the old man would go up on the hill with the water and arrive to his master's house, one pot would be half empty and the other pot would be full. So he continued to do this daily. Can you imagine how much water weighs? Can you carry two pots on your shoulders and walk up a big hill only to find that one pot is half empty and the other pot is full? So the poor old man kept doing this years after years and years. And then he went to his master and finally said, Sir, I really need another pot. Every time I go up the hill, half, one of them is half empty, but the other one is good. And I feel like I cannot deliver my best. Can you please provide me with another pot? Then the master smiled and said, No, you don't need another pot. Did you, know, did you realize that when you were to come down to the river and fill that pot with the broken side and you went all the way up the hill, that on the side with the broken pot you found lots and lots of flowers and growing and trees and everything was so beautiful because you watered that side of the hill. But when you look on the other side of the hill with the good pot, the one that doesn't have a crack on it, there was no flowers and there was no trees because it was dead. Nothing was watering the ground. So what does this lesson teach us? This lesson teaches us that nobody is perfect and we shouldn't strive to be something that we're not. God created us each individually and differently. Just because we might not be good at something that somebody else is good at, doesn't mean we are not good. God created everybody good and we are good also as we are His creation. So, just because we have faults, it does not mean that we cannot be good. God uses these faults that we have to create something great, like the flowers we found on the floor from the pot that was cracked. So, we're going to open our Bibles to 2 Corinthians 12.9. And it says, And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in my weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So when we read this, what do you think this means? What do we take from this verse? If we take it one by one, it says, My grace is sufficient for you, my, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. So when we talk about the pot, it wasn't so strong. It didn't have perfectness, right? It was broken. So God is saying, I know that you're not perfect. I know that you have problems. I know that we fall into sin. I created you. But don't worry that in your weakness, I will make you strong. I will show others that you are good for my sake. So let's take a break 
and we'll come back with a question. Welcome back. So now we're going to say our question. The question for the episode of The Broken Pot is, what do you think the broken pot resembles to us? Again, what do you think the broken pot resembles to us? Thank you for listening and see you next time.